in Germany, I mean, Germany, you know, a pretty powerful state, uh, tried to investigate the torture and rendition of one of its own citizens, Khalid al Masri, who was abducted and um, flown to a black site in Iraq and he was tortured. And then after he was tortured for a few weeks, the CIA realized they had the wrong Khalid al Masri, and so they dumped him in Albania. Um, and then he went back to Germany and no one believed him that he had been just taken by the Americans and tortured. And uh, he was treated like a madman for a while. He tried to litigate in the United States eventually. He threw out the case because it concerned national defense matters. Um, he eventually won his case in the European Court of Human Rights against Macedonia and Albania, but not against the United States. And used WikiLeaks cables that referred to his rendition in order to win his case. The case against Julian is uh, an attack, not on, only on press freedom globally, because Julian's Australian, he was in the UK, it's nothing to do with the US except the exposed US crimes. Uh, but it is a, a uh, collapse of legal safeguards that have an extremely pernicious effect, not just on the rest of the press, but on free speech and on the sovereignty of other countries to be able to enforce their own rules. Um, and so uh, maybe Gabriel has something more specific, uh, but what I want to emphasize is that the, it's urgent that Julian be freed. 